If you have an Nvidia GPU, chances are you're using GeForce Experience to manage your drivers and in some cases even your games. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix the 0x003 error code in GeForce Experience. Now, the first thing that we're going to do to resolve this is head over to our device manager. We'll do this by pressing Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu. And then we'll just click on device manager from here. Once device manager opens up, what I need you to do is find your display adapters, double click to expand them and find your Nvidia GPU in there. Right click, then click on update driver and then click search automatically for drivers. As you can see, I already have the best drivers installed for my particular GPU and CPU, but that may not be the case for you. So once you've got driver update from here, you can try launching GeForce Experience again, and that should give you uh, a resolution to your problem. If that doesn't solve the problem for you, you're going to have to check whether or not NVIDIA services are running. Doing this is also extremely easy. All you have to do is open up the start menu and search for services. Click on the first option that appears. And now the Windows services app will open. Uh, in here, we're going to find out all of the NVIDIA processes that you need. So here we go. So we have uh, NVIDIA broadcast, local system, display container, frame view, and uh, local system. What you have to do is make sure that all of these services are running and that they're set to automatically start up. As you can see, they're all starting automatically except for Frameview SDK, which is a particular service that we don't really need to worry about. As long as uh, your services are looking exactly like uh, they appear on my system, you should be good to go. If they're not, just double click this problematic service. A new box will appear. Make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and make sure that the service status is running. If it's not, you can click the start button to run a particular service and click apply to save your changes. Once you're done with this, you can try restarting GeForce Experience, but I recommend restarting your PC just to make sure that uh, any changes you've made have been saved. Last but not least, uh, you can try either reinstalling GeForce Experience or upgrading to the NVIDIA app. Now, for those of you who don't know, NVIDIA has uh, sort of outdated GeForce Experience in favor of this new app, which is honestly a much better uh, thing to do. Uh, you can see NVIDIA app. If I click on the learn more button, this will open up uh, the NVIDIA app officially released. So this replaces uh, GeForce Experience and then you can just go ahead and download this instead of GeForce Experience and that should fix your problem. If you want to uninstall GeForce Experience, that's also pretty easy. Press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and head over to installed apps. Uh, once this list loads up, we're going to search for GeForce Experience. And as you can see, I don't have GeForce Experience because the NVIDIA app has replaced the program on my system. So if I search for NVIDIA, you will see that the NVIDIA app shows up. Uh, if I want to uninstall it, I can just click these three dots, click on uninstall. Windows will ask for confirmation. We're going to accept that and click on uninstall again. So you can get rid of GeForce Experience uh, via this method. Close this, go back to your browser and you will find the NVIDIA app on the official NVIDIA website. A link for this will be in the description below. And that's it. That's how easily you can resolve the GeForce error code, which might be keeping you from updating your GPU. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.